Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stock and Supply with Mike Davies from Record. Um, so Mike, a question that I've already gotten about the Record chunks is the SC3 and the SC4 look very similar, a little bit different diameter, but what is the difference? Why would one customer want the SC3 or the SC4 over the other? Okay. Well, first maybe we should talk about the similarities, Yes. and then we'll get into the differences. Both are made on a three-point axis CNC. So both have incredibly accurate tolerances. Both have a scroll ring inside. You can't see on that one, and we'll get into that in a second. And both have the same jaw carriers. Again, you can't see on this one because there's jaws already mounted. So the similarities are they both have the same level of accuracy tolerance, dual carriers, and the same scroll ring. So they both have the same holding power. Now the difference is, as we can see, 90 mil, 100 mil. The outside diameter. Is, is the outside yep. diameter. Yep. Open back, sealed back. Yes. Direct thread, so this doesn't require an insert, it's going to go directly onto the thread of the spindle of the lathe. We have three sizes, 3 quarter 16 TPI, 1 inch 8 and an M33 by 3.5. Those are the three direct threaded options that we have for this chuck. On this one, this requires an insert. So with an insert version, you can have whatever sized insert you require for your lathe, and that slides in like that. Okay. Now, because this is an open-backed version, it's likely that there will be a little more shavings and dust getting into the rear of that chuck. So the locating key needs to be a very positive uh, it, it needs to have a positive location so now this is going in at 90 degrees there's no variation it has to be located in at 90 degrees because this is a op a sealed back we can have a more refined uh, ball ended hex allen key so now that, now imagine you've got a nice big bowl on here. Yeah, or a face, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can open this at an angle. So that gives you a little, so if you have something that's quite tall, yeah. you can still tighten or release that. Yeah, and because it's sealed, there's pinions inside here, but you, we need to keep all the dust out of the, of the rear of the chuck. Very cool. So um, ultimately, this makes this a lighter weight chuck. Again, the holding power is the same. And again, because it's got the same jaw carriers, all of our range of jaws will fit both chucks. So this is a lighter chuck, which makes it probably less expensive in general. Price-wise, yeah. So it's a lower priced, lighter chuck. So this is generally very popular on a smaller lathe, like the midi lathes. Right. Both are totally acceptable on both. You could put this on a midi lathe, and you could yep. put that on a full-size lathe. Sure. But with this one, we are restricted to a one inch eight thread, whereas all, well, there's the three, three quarter 16 yep. TPI, one inch eight, M33 by 3.5, any type of thread. And most larger lathes in the United States are one and a quarter inch eight TPI. That's right. Yeah. So um, that's really the key differences. Another very important factor with both of these is the scroll ring has been inserted into these chucks in a very intuitive way. So it's right to tighten, left to loosen, and you'd be surprised not all chucks are made the same. Okay. Interesting. So this one here is lighter, a little bit less expensive, but direct thread, and you can't change the thread on the back. Right. Where this one, a little bit heavier, a sealed back, so less likely for sawdust to get in the inside. And with the hex key, you have a little bit of flexibility here where you can tighten and release things a little bit easier. And then also, you can change the spindle thread yep. if you have more than one lathe. And because we have a backing plate on here, all of these holes, there are 72 holes, all equally spaced for indexing. For indexing. Gotcha. So that's another nice little refinement. Okay.
Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Um, if anyone else has any questions, you can email us at info at stockandsupply.com or comment on the video. And thank you guys for watching.